What up, Jay? What are we doing today? So uh, we, we've been talking a lot in the parking lot about issues that we both have with this car. Um, one of the big things uh, that I had a problem with from the start is the feel of the clutch. It's mm. just not very intuitive to me. I don't feel like I'm as connected with the car. There's like a lot of dead space from the floor dead before space. the clutch starts grabbing. Oh man, that drove me crazy. So yeah, I mean, totally fixable. Yeah. Um, nice. Yeah, you told me you'd come up with a, a good solution for it. Just so. literally a simple block of carbon with some layers on top to cushion the hit of the pedal. And that's pretty much it. It reduced the travel by about 70 to 80 percent and that's all you need like in my car i use it all the time and a few times i had to take it out to do some revisions and i couldn't even drive the car to be honest and the pedal has that sticky feel like because of the helper spring when you first press the pedal it compresses the spring and then it goes back out so the pedal feels like it gets glued to the floor uh -huh. i mean not literally but yeah it feels like suction so yeah, yeah it's I've super super odd the spring too like when i've got the clutch fully depressed and it's got it extended all the way out. I feel like maybe that's part of the exactly it's inconsistent. On and the your touch leg it. and the leg movement alone is like you gotta like extend your leg fully to yeah. push it to the floor. It's like ridiculous. Yeah. At that point, you have to move the seat a little bit closer to the pedals. Well, it's all good, but then you're too close to the gas and the brake, especially the brake, because the gas is still pretty far. Yeah. So it's like it, it it's really unbalanced. Like this car is awesome and all, but like a lot of things were sort of overlooked, you know. That's when I always try to like come up with solutions for those little sort of under-engineered uh, things. Little tweaks to make it exactly. feel better. I mean, the car is awesome otherwise. Once you modify it and once you change all these annoyances to uh -huh. this, like, it's really fun. So, nice. So yeah, I'm like, little, well, let's, let's exactly. And the, I tried actually removing the helper spring. Uh -huh. Like some people suggested that said the clutch feels more natural. Yeah, I really didn't like it, you know, like it lost that awesome tension when you first press the pedal, mm -hmm. it lost that tension and it became spongy. I just, yeah, I put it back in. So, yeah. you know, this is what it is. Uh -huh. Check it out. It's just a bunch of carbon layers here, about 50 or so of them. And that's what creates the actual distance for the grab point to feel like it's closer to the floor. And this little thing, it's like a um, couple layers of cushioning rubber and a felt tape on top. So also pretty simple, but what this creates is like a little pillow, like a spring. So when the pedal hits it, you don't even feel it. So it's pretty awesome. And 3M tape is for mounting to the stock location. You take the rubber piece out and you put this on, you're done. So first thing we're gonna do is take out this rubber stock piece. It actually cracked, see? And the clutch stopper pretty much just sits right here. So there's two switches here and one is uh, with a blue cap or plug is for the cruise control and the other one is the starter switch it's the one that sits above it so we need to adjust that one so the trick to it is 14 millimeter wrench and just loosen one nut at the front of the switch because there's two knots holding it to the bracket as you loosen one nut you can loosen the back nut a little bit slide the switch forward tighten it and that's it and what that does is since we limited the travel of the uh, clutch the switch now sits more forward so that the pedal can actually uh, press on it so you can start the car. Oh wow, yeah, that's way shorter. I like that feel. It feels like the same amount of pressure that I have to keep on it. And I'm not like, there any like weirdness, like you said, that, that weird stickiness or, or sponginess to it. Oh wow, that oh, was way shorter. Like I almost stalled there. Yeah, it takes a little bit to get used to. Oh yeah. See that second gear transition? That's what was really annoying me about this car. start off in like first gear so it's just it it's like a lot cleaner feel to me I guess if that makes sense um, it's like I was saying earlier it, it's I didn't feel like I was as connected with the vehicle as far as the response time on it or when it was grabbing and now it's like very more, much more predictable like I know right when 
it's going to grab. There's just that little bit of space, and it's right there. Mm -hmm. So it just feels a lot better. It's like when I'm shifting, I'm, I'm like it, that balance of when I'm applying the throttle is just so much more intuitive, I guess, if that is the best way to describe it. Mm. It just feels and in a lot shorter better. words, how does it feel? Uh, it just feels much cleaner. That's all we need to know. <laughs> so is there anything that this might do that would uh, you know, like wear out the clutch more prematurely or put any pressure on it? No, because uh, the plates are disconnected. So all you did was bring them closer together, but they're still disconnected. So nothing really changed. You just nice. sort of uh, shortened the travel from uh, fl flywheel to the clutch plate. So. Uh -huh. so you super happy with the clutch stepper? Or what? I am. That's awesome. It feels so much better. Uh, so what are you doing now? Uh, so we're just going to do a pretty simple debadge here. So the trick to debadging is uh, you can use dental floss, but that always rips, so it's super annoying. I just started using uh, what do you call it, fishing line. It's durable and it does the same thing, but better. And then let's start with the WRX to see easier. And then you just slide underneath. Be careful, but you put tension on the outside and then you go like this and that cuts the adhesive and it's practically falls off by itself and yeah, parking the car in the sun of course helps you know park it for about 20 30 minutes it'll soften things but it's not necessary really i think you can do fine without it to be honest see there you go there it is you sort of roll it into itself and it creates like a ball of adhesive like this big one for, for example if you start like trying to peel it off it's not as effective as if you just roll just take your thumb and just roll it. It's much cleaner and sort of picks up after itself. You know, it smells like a really nice uh, air freshener for the interior. Mm. Anyways. Super effective. Wow, look at this. I mean, this is some residue here. Spray it. Gone. Is there anything else you don't like about this car? Um, well, I mean, this is a cosmetic thing, but it's the, the wipers stick out so much. I mean, look at that one. It's just fucking... Especially when you're driving, you see it from here. Oh, yeah, it just sticks out. Looks nasty. So all you need is a socket wrench set. So all you have to do is literally take these caps off. And you can pull them off with your uh, hands. Take these nuts off. I already took one off. So you lift this part. And then this whole thing becomes sort of loose and slide it down. It'll lock into the teeth and then you lower it. And that's where the new position is. Right before it reaches the plastic bit here. And then just uh, tighten it and you're good to go. And there you are. And that's that. The only thing with this uh, change is that the wiper doesn't reach to this line here anymore. It reaches up to here, right? So that's the only thing. It's almost like this should have been set up from the factory this way, you know? I mean, it looks awesome from here, but check it out from the inside. Nothing sticking out. <laughs>